Here I am, trying out a new colored worm called Merfoliate. I've heard a lot about it. Pros use it all the time, and let's see how this sucker actually works. There he is. Damn. Come out and tunk the Metholi. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Oh my god. I didn't think this thing would work. This metholiate worm. Come out and chomped it, dude. Oh my gosh, that is a giant. Yes! Whew. Pretty fish. Post spawn. I saw this on a pro technique. This, this orange worm, they come out and just attack it. Oh my gosh, what a sweet fish. He's stuck good. He come out. Sucked. That orange worm. <laughs> right off the edge of these reeds. Rainy, cloudy day. See you later, buddy. Zoom trick worm. The color is meth metholoye. I don't know. It's like an orange. It's not quite pink. The water is really stained. It's on a four rot uh, offset gamagatsu hook. Just flipping it and skipping it around these reeds. They seem to be right on the edge, and this thing really stands out in the dirty stained water. Look how that thing bright draws draws right a long way off. Strikes again! What a fast bass! Oh my gosh! We choked it! Finally! Holy crap! What a fatty! Dude, he's going back to the hole. That looks like a job from my Kraken Bass pliers. Make sure to snag you one. Hey, hey, tough fishing, cold front, this metholiate worm, just weightless. Oh, he came out and grabbed it. I thought I was gonna lose him. Look how fat this fish is. Oh my gosh. Right along the edge of the weeds. Not satisfied, so I go to another body of water to test it out. Oh, no. oh. Still unsure, one break off, two fish at the other place, and I go to another spot that I know has a lot of bass.
rigging this thing up weightless, Texas rig style on this spinning rod. Works really good going through grass and stuff. key is to make sure you rig that thing to make it lay straight. If there's any kind of kink in it, they won't hit it. So measure where the back of your hook is, and that's where you want to put your hook point through to get a perfectly straight worm on a weightless Texas rig every time. along and I'm throwing this metholiate worm okay I've gone to three different places and I catch some fish but I'm not super convinced it's the best worm like something else would probably work just as good so I switch up right here and start throwing the flute put a timer on um, the first 20 minutes with the metholiate worm in this green in this great pond, I catch like four bass, three or four bass. And then I switch to the fluke and let's see what happens. Here's the test. Zoom baby bass fluke. This thing always works. Is it better than the exfoliate? Broke him off. He's still jumping, poor guy. Well, so there you have it. You know, 
this is that metholi metholiate worm and it works you know is it the best bait to throw i don't know um it actually beat this fluke and i catch a ton of bass on the fluke in grass and ponds i think the key to this is low light conditions stained water i'm not super sold on this metholiate color but it works like it catches fish so you know i think there's a time and a place for it a lot of pros use this bait around the spawn in dirtier water so they can see their lure and and uh notice strikes better i think that's probably when you want to use this is close to the spawn when the bass are real aggressive and dirtier water so they get a good visual on it and it would probably really work good but i probably wouldn't you know i keep one pack in my boat during the spring and the rest of the year i just leave it in my in my car and use your green pumpkins your natural colors those seem always seem to work and uh anyway hope you enjoyed this little experiment with this mertholiate worm does it work yes is it the best i'm not convinced but it's definitely something to pick up and try and and go out and try and crack some bass hope you enjoyed the video go to the link in the show notes uh where you can pick up the worms and the gear i used in this video and i fished three different places caught fish in three different spots i tried to fish places that i know had fish because it's easier to tell if a bait works or not if you know you're around fish and i know i was around fish i caught fish on this i threw the fluke and i also caught some fish on the fluke anyway hope you enjoy stay stoked get ready to rock and uh thanks